Hey, hi everyone. This video will tell you about various algebraic formulas that you need to solve some of the quantitative aptitude questions. So let's go ahead and see what these formulas are. So these are the uh, basic algebraic formulas. Most of you have studied in schools or colleges and probably you don't remember them. So the best way to remember such types of formulas are, are to group similar types of formulas and then remember them. So I've basically grouped these formulas. So the first one is a plus b whole square which gives us a square plus 2ab plus b square. So you might be wondering in what kind of situations will require these this formula. So consider that there's some question that you have to calculate the square of 21. Basically you can always multiply 21 with 21 and get the square but what in case of bigger numbers. So for just for the sake of example I'm taking a small number here. You can break it down into this formula. So 21 can be broken down into 20 plus 1 and whole square. Put 20 as A and 1 as B in the formula and get the answer. So that would be 20 square plus 2 into 20 into 1 plus 1 square. And then you can easily solve this question and, and get the answer of 21 square. So let's uh, get on to the second formula a minus b whole square which gives us a square minus 2ab plus b square. What kind of situations will this formula be useful? So let's consider you have uh, a situation where you have to calculate 19 square. Now you can break down 19 into 20 minus 1 and take the whole square of it and then put it into this formula and solve for 20 minus 1 square which will give you the answer of 19 square and it's much easier to add something than to multiply something. Formula number 3 a square minus b square will give you a plus b into a minus b. This is one of the easiest formulas to remember. The next is a plus b whole cube which gives us a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. Its similar one is a minus b whole cube which gives us a cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square minus b cube. a plus b if you by heart a plus b whole cube then for the minus one it is a cube then you have a minus then you have plus then again you have a minus. So this is the way you can remember these two formulas. So you could use these two formulas for example if you have a situation uh, let's say 53 cube. So you could break down it into 50 plus 3 whole cube and then solve it using this formula. Same is the case with a minus b whole cube. The next formula is a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b into a square minus ab plus b square. And its counterpart is a cube minus b cube which is equal to a minus b into a square plus ab plus b square. So we are done with the formulas. Let's use them now. So I have this example here. 105 into 105 minus 95 into 95. What could be the answer? So the answer is simple. If you see carefully, 105 is multiplied two times. So it is 105 square then minus 95 square. According to our formula, you can uh, put 105 as A and 95 as b square. So a square minus b square according to a formula if you look here is the third one formula a plus b into a minus b. So it's a plus b into a minus b. So you could put a as 105 so 105 plus 95 into 105 minus 95. So 105 plus 95 is 200 and 105 minus 95 is 10. So the answer is 2000. So this is the correct option. Now let's solve one more question and try to find out this the answer of this question. So again if you observe carefully it's 15 cube. So let's write it. It's 15 cube minus so 10 is multiplied three times so 10 cube divided by this is 15 square plus 15 into 10 
plus 10 square. So again, this looks like our formula. So let's put it a cube minus b cube upon a square plus ab plus b square. a cube minus b cube is, let's see what the formula is. a cube minus b cube is a minus b into a square plus ab plus b square. So this is a minus b and a square plus ab plus b square is the value of a cube minus b cube upon a square plus ab plus b square. Now these two terms are same so we can cancel out them. So the answer is a minus b. Now a minus b where a is 15 and b is 10. So a minus b would be 15 minus 10 which is 5. So the answer here is 5. Okay, let's solve one more question and let's see if you can get the answer for this one or not. So again, put 981 as A and 435 as B. So we can get A plus B whole square minus A minus B whole square upon AB. So let's evaluate this these formulas. So A plus B whole square is A square plus 2AB plus b square minus now a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square you need so you need to be careful with the signs here now divide by ab again evaluating the formula a square plus 2ab plus b square minus a square minus minus plus so plus 2ab minus plus is minus so minus b square divided by a b so now we can cancel out terms here a square minus a square it gets cancelled out b square minus b square gets cancelled out so we have plus 2 a b plus 2 a b so 2 a b plus 2 a b divided by a b and this comes out to be 4 a b divide by a b now a b and a b gets cancelled out so the answer is 4 so the option is this one 4